The best way to clone a website in less than 10 minutes is to use AI. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using Repilit agent. The website that we're going to clone is called Starter Story. If you want to be an internet entrepreneur, you don't have any idea about coding. This video is exactly what you need. Spend the next 10 minutes and then you will have something useful at the end of the video. So first thing you have to do is you have to go to Repilit. It's not a free tool. First thing I have to do is I can take a screenshot here of this website and copy this, go to Repilit, paste it, and then say, I want to clone this website as close as possible. That's it. All you have to do is this. If you want to improve the prompt, there is an option. You can select this, improve the prompt, and it will improve the prompt. You can see that it will start adding more details to it and uh, click create ripple. And once you do that, it is going to do. Meanwhile, you can also see that Ripple does a bunch of things. Now they've got Stripe integration, perplexity API, Firebase authentication, a bunch of other things that they've got. And all this is like, if you were to do it, I think you can also deploy it on their own platform as well. So let's see how the cloning is going to go. So we have got uh, the basic prompt, create a web-based clone that closely replicates the functionality and appearance of a specified website. The project aims to recreate the visual design, layout, user interface, elements, and everything. The best thing about Replate that I've always found is it usually goes through your requirement and tells you what it is going to build. So you can see, it says, I'm going to do this thing. If you want to add any functionality, it can do it. So let's say I'm going to just simply say add filtering and sorting options. I'm not very particular about it. And it has started building. You can see that it is making a checkpoint at this point. So you can always, always roll back to this particular checkpoint. And it is starting to build. So it started creating the file. It's a TypeScript file. So it is creating the main app page, the home page email capture form. So if you see here, if you are a UI designer, there are certain things that would immediately appeal to you. So first of all, there is like the top banner kind of uh, trying to establish trust with a new user. And then you have got this copy here. And then you have got this phone picture here. And you've got the CTA where you can sign up with email. And you're also again establishing the trust saying that join thousands of founders uh, who are like already part of it. Then you have got like these simple designs. And that's it. It's a very Simple system, you have got to have an account login as well. Right now, we are not going to add a backend system to this, but the thing with Replit Agent is you can also do a backend, unlike a V0, which can literally copy the front end really, really good. With Replit Agent, you can do the backend as well. And um, I'm just doing the front end at this particular point. So Replit Agent is done. It is not exactly like how we would have seen. So let's open it in the new tab. Okay. Unlock the secrets to the seven figure online business. I think it, does, it has done a pretty good job of a lot of things, uh, to be honest. So the copy is good. Um, and then there is like the email sign up that is good. If I do, will it help me? Okay, let's see. I want to go to gmail.com. Yeah, it, it won't work. Yeah, we have to add the functionality and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and then say this, um, while this is good, it looks very different from the screenshot. Can we have the exact same please? Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to make a comment without having to give any technical details. All I'm saying is, okay, this is good, but it is a very different. Well, when I say very different, I'm talking about colors. I'm talking about typography. I'm talking about the layout and design. So I'm trying to understand it, whether it can take the screenshot that we have given and then make that particular change that we would want. So if that is done, you can do it. Another great thing about a uh, replit that I've felt is you can always go download the code. So you have got the code here. So you can go here and then start downloading the code, which I'm not sure if a lot of uh, solutions do. Uh, if you are somebody who uses cursor, I think this is where the cursor has a really good advantage because you've got an ID in your local computer and you can do all those things. But a lot of other services, I'm not sure how effectively they do this. But with Replit, you can basically go here and download it and then start hosting it yourself. Anyways, um, if we go back to the progress, you can see the progress happening. I'm going to just kindly close this. How do I close this? Yeah. And you can see it is uh, restarting. Wow. This is impressive, isn't it? Now, this is original starter story. This is what we have got. Start a story. This is what you have got. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, the founder's pictures have gone. We can uh, just say 
I, I think I think the pictures uh, are not being rendered now okay that is interesting this is um, what an English people say impeccable quite good so if 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 you give this website as an MVP to somebody like a website designer and ask them to create something like this um, typically a dev agency would charge you like uh, what, uh, $500, $1,000, $2,000. I'm not sure what's the international rate, but it's quite uh, quite hard to give you the give the requirements to a developer and get things done. And here you can just like two prompts. Like first we give a prompt and uh, we were not satisfied with it. Then we give the screenshot again, followed up, then it did everything. So it says, okay, now I'll help you fix this. And you can see what kind of changes it makes. That is another good thing. If you're a developer, if you know things like I, I don't have JavaScript background, so I don't understand a lot of things that happens here. But if you have that background, then uh, it will start editing. Uh, you can see the progress and you would be able to see what changes it is making. So if something is wrong, in fact, you can yourself go to the code and start making changes, like not relying on AI if you know. But this tutorial is for somebody who's like me, who has absolutely no sense. Um, about uh, how to build a, a startup. Okay, cool. So we have got a bunch of uh, placeholders. There is an app preview, which you can upload the image. You've got a bunch of case studies. Um, the case study is available. You can go give your email ID and that's it. Well and good. So now what I'm going to show is I'm going to say, uh, let's add uh, some kind of an extra feature. Okay, so I'm going to say, can we add a simple user authentication system? Um, a registration form and then user login. That's it. We don't want to use Firebase at this point because I have to show you a lot of other things. I've got a different video with the data button using Firebase, so you can go check that out. But in this particular case, I just want to implement a very simple uh, login page and then see how it is going to do. So I'll help you add user authentication, which registration and login functionality. So if you were to handle user login, you know, you need to have a database of username and password just to check look up. So as you can see here, it already started creating a database here. And it is also adding the functionality where we can create a user account and also create password, then use that account ID to log in and then get the details back. So the agent is working, it's making those changes, you can already see that there's a Postgres SQL database that has been created In short a DB, then you've got an authentication page user use um no idea what is it and um you have got authentication.ts and it says we have created a database for you here and you can go manage it there so that is also an op option available so you can see here this small icon that shows your database so if you want to sometimes like very small scrappy startup what they do is they manually go delete some rows like replace passwords we have got a simple username login password so we can go register get things done, get the response back, done. So finally, if you were to deploy this, what you're going to do? So all you have to do is go click deploy here. And uh, let's say I, I don't like this before going to deploy. Let's say I don't like this. I can always roll back to here, particular this state, and it will undo all the changes that it has done. So we'll go back to where it was before the last working version that probably we need and use it. So once we have everything back to whatever it was before, see this one, we can go click deploy and set up your deployment, just basic configuration until your app becomes viral, you can go with the basic one. And you can just say what is the domain in which you want, okay, website cloner, and add all the secrets here, if you were to use OpenAI, Gemini, Grok, whatever that API endpoint, if you're building an AI application, you can add all those things here and click deploy. Once you do that, uh, you are successfully um, deploying this application that will be available for anybody to use. Then you can use your own custom domain, link it here, do a bunch of other things. And I'm going to stop it here at this point um, because it is not relevant. But the point here is that if you have a startup idea, if you're starting 2025 with an intention to start an internet business, I think all you need to do is like get a subscription like this, start building something and then add Stripe integration or some kind of a payment gateway, which is a pain if you're in India like me. Stripe is invite only, but if you are the rest of the world, I think this is the best time to launch your own startup. So you can delegate the technical part to these agents 
focus on marketing, audience building, customer support, product idea, product management, a lot of other things that people usually don't have enough time to focus. Or if you're a non-technical co-founder or non-technical founder, this is probably the best time ever to build. So you can be a creator uh, instead of being a software engineer, you can be a software creator and these tools are going to help you do that. I hope this was helpful to you in understanding how to clone a website or probably launch your own internet business in 2025. Any question, feedback, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.